Hello everyone. Today we will solve this numerical problem. So in this problem they are saying calculate the random input offset voltage. For the open pin figure, assume the matching is perfect except that VT3 minus VT4 is 10 millivolt. Also assume that all transistors have equal W by L and operate in the active region. Ignore short channel effects. Okay and uh, mu n is 450 and mu p is 150 in second part they are saying repeat part a for an op amp that uses p channel differential pair and n channel current mirror load in third part they are saying which of these two transistors gives lower input offset voltage okay so let's solve this question the first part is NMOS input differential pair. Okay, so all transistors have equal W by L ratio. So suppose uh, bias current through these transistors are I. So they are saying there is a BT mismatch of 10 millivolt between transistor 3 and 4. So delta BT is 10 millivolt. So this extra 10 millivolt create a extra current of delta I. So what will be the value of this current? This current will be GMP into delta VT. Okay, GMVGS. So what will be the input required offset voltage? So basically input offset referred voltage is without any input okay we get a output voltage and when we divide this uh, offset volt output offset voltage divide by a gain of the amplifier so we get input offset referred voltage okay so same thing so what will uh, this input offset voltage do basically it uh, will create a current that will nullify this current okay so without any input we getting we are getting an uh, output voltage so we will apply a small differential input voltage that will nullify this current so that is only input referred offset voltage so this will create a current of gmn into bios input offset voltage and this both current will be equal and cancel each other okay so GMP delta VT equal to GMN into input offset voltage. So what will be of offset voltage? GMP by GMN into delta VT. So GM is nothing but root 2 ID mu n vx and w by l so bias current is same w by l ratio is same so gm directly proportional to root over mobility okay so now put the value so b i o s equal to root over mu p by mu n into 10 millivolt so mu p is 150 mu n sorry this is mu n mu n is 450 into 10 millivolt so it will be 1 by root 3 10 millivolt so when we will apply this amount of differential input that will cancel that current okay the this input this uh, input voltage will cancel this current now the second part is pmos uh, input differential pair okay so
so this is p mod p mos uh, input differential pair and n mos current mirror load okay so what will be the in this voltage how in this case how much voltage will be it will be gm p into bi oh yes okay so this much of differential input voltage you will apply that will cancel this vt of current due to this vt mismatch what will be the mismatch current it will be gmn into delta vt now this both current will be equal and cancel each other so what will be the value let's compare gmp input record voltage equal to gmn into delta vt so in this case will be gmn divided by gmp into delta vt so again in this case what will be mu n mu p and delta vt let's put the value mu n is 450 mu p is 150 and delta vt is 10 millivolt so this will be root 3 into 10 millivolt okay so this much of differential input voltage when we will apply this will cancel this current due to this vt mismatch okay so let's compare in both cases so when it's a pmos input differential pair input offset voltage is root 3 times of 10 millivolt and uh, when it's a nmos input differential pair the offset voltage is 1 by root 3 10 millivolt okay so n mos pair is less than input offset voltage for p mos okay so this is a comparison of both type of configuration